Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it is time for look of the week where I recreate my favorite makeup look that I did this past week. Uh, today it's actually going to be with the ColourPop High Tide eyeshadow palette. I purchased this one and the um, Your Golden palette. I put up a video yesterday talking about that palette. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to use this one here. I am going to start with eyes, so let's just jump into the eye portion. I um, This palette is not... I don't know. I like the mattes in here a lot, but the shimmers are not ColourPop's best work. But I do hear, and just from experience, I know this kind of color is hard for a lot of brands to make. And this one, not ColourPop's best, but the mattes are actually really nice. But I'm going to be using um, these four right here today. This is a matte, but it has glitter in it, and I really, really like it. And then I'm going to use this one kind of all over the lid and the crease and stuff. This one to deepen out the other corner and that one on the lid, that really pretty shimmer. That's actually the only shimmer in the palette that I like. Uh, the other ones I just find are kind of, um, I don't know, one of them particularly makes my eyelids look very creepy when I try to put it on. But, I don't know. The shimmers in here are not Colourpop's best. Ah, I'm scratching my face and I'm going to make it all red, but it's very itchy right there. Already red. It's fine. It'll go away. Um, the only thing too with using colors like this is my eyes tend to look super, super red. I'm not going to do a ton of that shade, just enough like this to kind of help the other color blend out. So I'm just going to blend this all on the lid. Just like that. Uh, this kind of color can really bring out the pink and redness of your eyelids, or at least mine. So I tend to make sure that everything's covered. If I have I have black eyeliner maybe on the waterline, because my waterline can look extra pink when I'm wearing blue or green eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna do it like that, just enough to help out the other shade blend. Although this one blends out really nicely on its own, I just really like those two mixed together. I think they're really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take this one here, and the one here called Currents on that same brush, the Morphe M513. And I'm just going to blend it in the crease and just kind of all around the lid, how I normally do. And I've really, really been enjoying um, doing eyes first. I've been liking it a lot. I started doing it because I was start I've been putting sunscreen on in the morning and it takes a while to, to sink in. And I thought, well, I guess I'll just do my eye makeup then while this is sinking in. And I've been loving it because you get to clean up any fallout. And even like tiny little sparkles and stuff, it makes a difference. And it makes your makeup look so much cleaner. Or at least mine anyway. Look how easy that one blended. I really like that shade. It's so pretty. It's one of those shades I want to wear every day. It's just a really pretty shade. It blends really nicely. Same on this side. But as you can see, it's making like the pinky parts of my eyes look way pinker. But I like it. I also find colors like this or blue or green, purple even, throughout the day as I get tired and just, you know, my eyes get strained and stuff and they look more red, the eye makeup makes them look sick. And I just feel like I look so tired by the end of the day when I wear eyeshadow like this. Unless I go out of my way to do like some Lumify eye drops or something. Okay, I love that shade. I think it's so pretty. All right, so then I'm gonna take a smaller brush with the shade called Urchin. This one right here, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna put that I could, I tapped off the excess and I could see like a puff of eyeshadows floating in the air. Anyway, I'm just going to tap this one right here just to kind of deepen it a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But dang, these mattes are so, so good. Really, really pretty. It's rare that I'm disappointed with ColourPop's matte shadows. They're shimmers though, so, like they usually have a really good shimmer formula, but then every now and then they do those ones that are, you put it on and you're like, where is it? What the heck is this? And that's how the shimmers are in this one. I don't know, I just don't like the shimmers very much, but the mattes, A+. plus. Especially for this kind of color, it blends so nicely. I'm gonna get a little bit more on this side. Oh, 
All right, I think I'm gonna put on that shimmer and then, oh, I just really, really like it. I love this color, I think it's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna put the shimmer on the lid real quick. And then after I'm done with the rest of my makeup, I might deepen out the outer corner a little bit more, but I'm gonna get that shade called Must See, the one here in the middle, just on my finger. Uh, when I swatch that shade, I, I, I do tap off, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this thing on my finger. I smashed my finger the other day and got a little blood blister right there. Anyway, I um, swatched the shade and it looks kind of flaky, so I kind of tap off a little bit on my the back of my hand here. That way to kind of minimize the fallout, but I know I'm going to wipe it off anyway, so I'm not too concerned with it. Just going to put this one on the lid. And it sticks pretty well. Can't tell if I'm in focus or not. All right. I've really been liking doing these videos, the look of the week videos, because I feel like it's making me do different things with my eyeshadow. Because there was a while there, like I'm sure you could even tell in my videos, I wasn't wearing eyeshadow, I was using one eyeshadow all the time. And in the morning, I was enjoying doing the base products more than the eyeshadow, because I would always do eyeshadow last, and by the time I got to it, I was like, oh my god, I still gotta do eyeshadow. But doing the look of the week videos are making me like do something a little bit different every time and experiment a little more because I know I'm gonna do this video and I don't want it to be just another, well, I didn't put any makeup on all week. So I've been really enjoying them. I'm gonna put a little bit more um, of that dark shade called Urchin on the outer corner. And let's just blend a little bit like this. All right. That's where the lids are going to stay. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this color so much. I might put a little bit more darkness in there. We'll see when I finish up the rest of my face, the lower lash line and stuff. I am going to get a little cotton pad. Let's just use this one here to wipe away the fallout. I keep this big thing of micellar water in here. This is, okay, the bottle, it says La Roche-Posay, but there's probably like this much La Roche-Posay in here. I filled this up a couple of months ago with all of my sample sizes. I had so many bottles that were this big of my cellar water, all kinds of brands, and I don't use my cellar water that often, so I poured all of them in here, and then I just use it to remove fallout, I use it to clean off my fingers, and I think it works very, very well. And I'm glad I did that, because otherwise they would just be sitting there. So this is the fallout I picked up, this, and it doesn't look like that much, but when if you that was on top of your makeup, like on top of your concealer or your eyeshadow or your uh, foundation, it would be a lot. Especially trying to brush it away, it'd brush away like green smears. So the foundation, I can't stop with this. I wish they didn't discontinue it. The CoverGirl Outlast Active, I feel like you've seen me use this a million times. But I just really, really like it a lot. I think it's just such a good foundation. It works very well in the summertime because it dries down, it doesn't stay tacky, but it's also not like a flat matte. And it wears all day. Oh my gosh, it looks ghostly. Also, it has SPF 20 in it, I think. I'm sure the SPF in that one is expired by now because I've had this way past the expiration date. Expires August of 2020. Don't be mad, I'm using it anyway. If a cream product has an expiration date and it's past that date, but it still works and smells fine. I'm gonna use it as long as I feel like it. Okay, well. <sighs> Got foundation in my hair. All right, and then I'm gonna use the Tarte um, Hydro Sealer Concealer. I've been really liking this. I wish more came out on the applicator, but I do like the actual concealer. I think it's very pretty. very hydrating, kind of dewy looking. Although it doesn't really matter that it's dewy because I am going to put on some powder. I am going to use the, um, where is it? I always forget what this looks like, the Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Um, I've really been liking this a lot. It's really, really thin. There are days when I don't like it because there are some days where I feel like it's very, 
uh, dry and like not dry looking, but dry and tight feeling. I also don't love this applicator, although I think it's fine. I wish that it was in a doe foot because I find that when I squeeze it, way too much comes out because you squeeze, 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 and you think it's coming, and then a little, only a little bit comes out, and then you squeeze it more, and then there's too much. I don't know. Don't love the applicator, but it's fine. It's just so thin. Alright, I have one layer of the concealer on. I am going to put a little bit more, I think, uh, at the end. I tend to put a little bit more right here. Just because after you finish up the eyes, I find it kind of brings out the darkness of your under eyes a little bit more. Wrong way. Um, and, yeah. We are going to put the powder on. The Too Faced Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Almond. Love this stuff. I'm gonna just put it all over my face, kind of remove all of the shine, all of the tack. I've just been really liking the way that it looks really matte lately. It's interesting the phases we go through with makeup, because there has been times, has been times? There have been times that I have tried out a tinted moisturizer and I'm like, this is all I'm gonna use forever. I'm never using foundation again. And then I get really into this look where it's just, flat matte skin and then I'm like I'm never using a tinted moisturizer again anyway all right the bronzer I love this bronzer and I can't put it down it's the Essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder I really 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 like this I love how um light it is I like how skin like it looks I like how natural it is and every time I use it I can't believe that I had decluttered it already I pulled this out of the declutter box and I'm always happy that I did because I really like it. All right, bronzed up. I look, always look so weird with my eyebrows on. Um, and then I'm going to be using this highlighter that I have been loving so much. It's one that I've had for a little while from Makeup Obsession. Mega Honey Highlighter and that's what it looks like. I got this at Target a while back without realizing that it's part of Makeup Revolution's brands, which is a brand I don't support. And having known that, I wouldn't have bought this, but I didn't know. I thought Makeup Obsession was its own thing. Anyway, the highlighter is very nice. It doesn't take away from the, the highlighter being so beautiful. Uh, it's very, very golden, and I really like the way it looks with the blush uh, that I'm going to put on. And I really like the way it looks on matte skin. I'm not a fan of flat matte skin and this like highlighter. I think it looks weird most of the time, but I've really been liking it. And I really like this one too. It's just a really pretty gold color. I think it works really well with the eyeshadow and the blush that I'm going to put on. I would think it's really pretty. And I got this at Target, I don't know, a year or two ago. So I feel, I don't know if they still sell it there or not, just in case you're interested. There we go. I really, really like it. It's subtle, but it's also, you can build it up to be super intense. I think I want a little more on this side. All right, and then the blush that I have been loving, loving, loving is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rosé Champagne. I love this blush. This is one of my absolute favorites. And I think when I back when I did a series called my hypothetical curated collection, where if I was curating my collection, these are the things I would keep. And I'm pretty sure this was in there. It's just a really pretty shade. I wear it every time I don't know what to use because it's not too pink, not too nude, not too neutral, but also looks like blush. And it kind of goes with anything. And I really, really like it. And I've been wearing it a lot lately because I have it here. I haven't moved all my stuff out yet. And I kept it here with my uh, little shop, my stash makeup. And I really, really like it. It's so pretty. Oh my God, let's put on some eyebrows already. All right, I put on some eyebrows 
with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, some brow powder, and then the Glossy Boy Brow Brow Gel. I don't know if I really like this. I had this on yesterday. It doesn't hold my eyebrows for nothing. And I have like 12 eyebrow hairs, as you saw. This doesn't even hold up those few puny eyebrows that I have. So I don't, I don't know how people with thicker, unruly eyebrows use this. But for me, so far, it's not working. Anyway, I'm going to finish up my lower lash line, black eyeliner, mascara, and then just wrap up this video. And right, I'm just finishing up with some mascara, the Maybelline Sky High. I cannot get enough of this. And I think it's because it holds up so well in the heat. Like I put it on lower lash line and it doesn't smear, smudge, flake, or anything. And on the top, it doesn't leave you little dots. I know this is a long lash person problem, but it doesn't leave those little dots all up here, even in the heat, even with the sweating. And I just absolutely love it. I think it's, it's fantastic. Maybelline definitely hit it out of the park with this mascara. Anyway, that is it. That is my look of the week. I love this eye look so much. I love the neutral blush with the golden highlighter. This palette is really, really nice from ColourPop if you don't mind a couple of shimmers that I feel are duds. Um, this one up here doesn't really work that well, and this one here I just can't get to work on my lids. But the mattes, I think, are fantastic. They blended super easily, as you saw. And I love the rest of the makeup as well. I love the matte skin with the... I just, I just really liked this look, so I wanted to recreate it for you. Anyway, that is it. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.